Good morning. Howdy. Uh, yeah, aggressive title I'll probably use, but I assume everyone who's anyone has seen that on Twitter, Helldivers, the official account, so it's sadly not a joke, I wish it was, but Sony is making it so you need to have a Sony account, or PlayStation, whatever, to be able to play Helldivers 2, even though it's functional on PC, including an in-game uh, friend adding system. And Sony is known for A, nefarious business practices, and B, um, destroying IPs. And guess what? This is destroying Helldivers. Just so you know, I tried to whisper even extra to say that. But yeah, plus I'm honestly, I'm pretty groggy in the morning and try not to wake the dog, so I'm sure you understand. But yeah, I'm hoping uh, that through everyone, or hopefully many people, not playing anymore, they revert that change because, hi girly, I hear you, it's okay. Sorry, she has to yell at the wall. Oh, are you trying to get me to come in the closet? Okay, I don't know what's up there, but sorry about that. But yeah, so Sony, which is known for ruining IPs, and quite frankly, they will be going under eventually. They are not a good business. They do not make smart decisions, even though they have such easy wins they can make simply by porting IPs over to PC. Plus, they have a history of data breaches and... Yeah, so I'm quitting Helldivers, but it's only on June, or only by June 4th, so we have like another month, right? Yeah, I think, uh, uh yeah, it's, it's May now. Uh, but yeah, so, and I, I figured that to celebrate the, the death of Helldivers, I could talk about why it's so good. Which I know a lot of people have said, like, oh, obviously the, the air drops and everything's so fun, blah, blah, blah. But I have different aspects. What I love about it is, if you look at the animations, they basically ripped from MGS5 entirely, which is not an insult at all. I, I wish more games would uh, for that over-the-top quick... Um, action or I mean I'm sorry over the shoulder with occasional uh clicks if you're aiming to go in first person very useful feature and I hope more uh third person games copy that but yeah the uh, you know the movement offers a lot of opportunities both for like throwing yourself midair to shoot people which if you're like me and use heavy guns you're gonna want to do that. It helps so much. Like, I love jump shotting with a shotgun. That's why, like, even, like, a billion hours in, I still run the original, um, not the slugger, but the, the standard pump shotgun buckshot, because, I'll be frank, uh, I can't aim good, so I like using buckshot so I have more spread to guarantee some hits. Plus the knockback is just great. It's perfect for covering guys and keeping foes off your friends. Sorry, that little crack of the knuckle you heard. But, yeah. It also has the aspect of gun realism. Because in Helldivers, if you haven't played it, basically, you click reload anytime, you instantly throw that magazine out, and then you have a new one. But obviously, you're down that. You don't magically have your bullets fly into your pocket or any of your spare mags. Like in a lot of games where you play as a wizard, clearly. Even MGS5, just saying. But, um, yeah. Uh, that aspect as well as the realism with the shotgun is just uh, so good. I love it. Because, like, with the, if you don't know, I, I know not everyone's a, a gun fan or not knowing stats on guns, but uh, as Papa Garand has taught us, um, 
shotguns are effective at like 80 yards which is very good obviously in most video games you engage enemies at i don't know probably like five yards or less so yeah you you have a lot of um games where shotguns are very weak except at like two feet in front of you which for reference if, if you have flaming hot balls of lead coming at you with the destructive force of basically the modern blunderbuss then unpopular opinion even if you're 20 feet away your arm's toast i know my arm wouldn't survive that <sighs> or you know your head in the context of fucking siege where i can headshot someone with a shotgun oh just a random lady with their face out with a shotgun at close range and she still lives just saying hell divers i shoot my friend at close range he's toast it's accurate it's real and i love it especially since given the realistic weapon uh, velocity and distance you can effectively uh have support fire or even snipe with your shotgun which you can do in real life if you see a bug monster at like 20 yards away you could just start unloading and you're most likely going to hit it if you have a decent ish aim so it's very cool uh i don't really dig the the rifles except for the um i think it's penetrator excalibur or something i, I forget but i know the heavy machine gun just got a buff which i do like that it finally has reticles i actually thought that was possibly a bug maybe it's just balance i don't know um but yeah heavy heaviest machine gun i think kind of sucks because it has low ammo yeah i love the damage but i think the machine gun or stalwart are just a better option because they have more ammo um more control over the recoil and the reload isn't 50 seconds like i could probably reload a real life machine gun or like a belt felt one belt fed one better than the guys in hell divers can reload the uh, heavy machine gun uh don't quote me on that but if you want me to try please um let me try your machine guns i want to it would be fun and yeah another aspect i really dig is the enemy chunkification because guess what if you get hit with a shotgun shell you are going to have chunks coming off and thankfully the bugs do it is so detailed that honestly i don't know how i run that game on my pc especially with like four people doing it i don't even know how i don't have a good pc i, I think i only run like a i think it's a 1660 super and i forget my uh cpu but it's about equal to that so so yeah, I shouldn't be able to run this game realistically, but I can. So clearly the, the devs did fairly good for making it optimized for even lower end PCs, which is awesome. Hence, they have so many sales of like everyone getting it, which is great. <sighs> it's just sad Sony had to take it away. And uh, on that sad note, uh, rest in peace, Helldivers. I will miss you and I hope... Uh, and all the players quitting will make Sony not do that, but I don't have faith in uh, consumers to be, um, I guess, as, uh, what, what do you call that? As uh, committed as me. I mean, my, I have the type of devotion you put in a gun to my head and I will still laugh at any of your notions. Like, I am very intense. But yeah, uh, have a good one. Bye, Sarah Faust